I'm moving right now. Yes, friends, hello and welcome to the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone, broadcasting from the heart of the Green Mountains, Montpelier, Vermont. And the Music Zone is brought to us by the friends at Aromed Essentials, specializing in CBD tinctures and pain-reducing topicals, essential oils and diffusers, glassworks for smoking, and a brand new organic Vermont-grown Hemp Buds Bar. Aromed Essentials located at 8 State Street in downtown Montpelier. Online at aromedessentials.com. By the phone, 802-505-1405. And our friends at Snapdragon Flower Farm, featuring produce, vegetable, herb, flower seedlings. Early season custom orders are welcome as well as hanging baskets, potted flowers, tulips for Easter, and cut flowers, and a cut-your-own option by appointment only. Snapdragon Flower Farm, located at 521 Merle Road in Danville, Vermont. Online, snapflowerfarm.com, and by phone, 802-748-2001. Well, this edition of the Music Zone, we welcome in our purveyor of feel-good, positive rock and roll. He's opened shows for Tom Petty, Paul Simon, and Bob Dylan. He's also a Pacific recording artist and my dear friend. Please welcome Vermont's own Chad Hollister. <laughs> thank you, Pitts. Thank you, thank you. What a, gosh, what an intro. I'm, I'm blushing, I'm smiling. I think you can tell by now that people are smiling, you know, the, the scrunched up eyes, you know. But yeah. Thanks for having me, man. Great to be here. Uh, I'm glad you can make it in. In the music zone. The music zone here from Orca Media in Montpelier. I'm so psyched that this is happening. Yes. So tell me, um, I know everyone's out of work because of COVID, etc. What are you working on right now? Well, um, my beautiful wife, Katie O'Rourke, whom you know well, um, and I just did a rock and paint which is Katie guiding you through a painting mm. and I uh, myself playing music kind of in between and, and so on and, and our lovely uh, marital banter, <laughs> which is, <laughs> is I will say, uh, more positive than most. Um, uh, we don't give each other a hard time. We're extremely in love, uh, really, uh, kind of like you and Amy. Um, and uh, so that went really well. That was this past Saturday and we're doing, uh, we'll be doing one a month of those, and uh, we're gonna do one uh, that will be, of course, Katie O'Rourke, uh, a St. Patty's Day influenced ah. <laughs> painting. Uh, I might learn uh, uh, a couple of uh, Irishy tunes um, as on top of my songs, but that'll be uh, St. Patty's Day weekend there. And um, so that's exciting. And then I've really been focusing in this time, uh, learning how to get my music to uh, TV and film and sync. Uh -huh. um, so I'm taking a course, I'm going back to school and learning um, from a gentleman out of Los Angeles um, and it's, it's incredibly eye-opening. Mm -hmm. um, you and I were talking at length before the show and there's so much to it uh, and as much learning what not to do as what to do um, in the biz. So it's exciting, mm -hmm. exciting. Um, so. Uh, my hopes in this next year is to really get uh, some of my music placed into TV, film, and nice. and sync, and and possibly some ads. But uh, it's a you know just a a, a, a long endeavor um, yeah. that takes you know it's uh, I think that's one of the things I've learned most of all is it doesn't happen right away. It's it's <laughs> like it's, most things. Well, and it's about you know it's about so much of what you're so wonderful at. Um, hence this this show. I'm very excited for you, by the way, Thanks. and proud of you. Um, but it's all based on relationships, uh, like life in general. Yeah. And so that if you develop a relationship with one of these music supervisors and they know that they can trust you, then they'll come back to you again. So, right. Sure. So it's good. 
So that sounds like almost like a whole different side career or a whole different chapter of your career. It is. It is. I mean, I'm definitely, ne I'm never going to stop playing. Sure. But this, um, because I have not been able to play live and I miss, I really, really miss um, seeing people's faces and just watching their energy. You can only get so much energy pulled off of Facebook Live or off of Zoom. The Zoom's cool because you can see people's faces. Yeah. And I really enjoy that, but um, I really miss the people. Mm -hmm. So, but but that when that comes back, that'll be beautiful. But in the interim, I'm hoping that this will um, just help uh, with income and and um, and just also notoriety. You know, more people. Uh, you know, of course, getting it into TV and film would would broaden my audience too. So yeah, right. Good. So tell me, how does one go about the process of opening a concert for Bob Dylan. How does that happen? <laughs> well, it was amazing. I mean, though, those shows, the Petty and the Dylan and Paul Simon were all down in West Palm Beach, Florida. And we had garnered a fan um, at the Coral Sky Amphitheater. She hmm. ran the amphitheater. And so I happened to call her on a good day. Her name was Laura. And she was a big fan of the band. And she said, I have some shows that you might, you know, uh, that I, that I, I'd love for you to open. And I was like, well, what do you, what do you have? And she said, well, I've got uh, Bob Dylan and Paul Simon. And my <laughs> jaw dropped. And then yep. she said, and then I have Santana. And then she said, and I have Tom Petty. And I was like, ah. Uh. And she said, and I said, do I have to pick one? She said, no, you can pick two. Oh, my God. And so, you know, I love Carlos. Um, but, you know, for me, the Dylan and Paul Simon, it was like, Ridiculous, and of course the petty uh, is almost even more ridiculous. Mm. I'd say the petty would be my uh, pinnacle pedestal. So, you know, that was really incredible. And the the um, the Dylan and Simon was a solo one. It was actually a stage outside of the uh, the theater. The SFX Levi's concert series is what it was. Mm. And um, and so I did that one solo. And then the uh, uh, petty one, I hired a good friends of mine from Florida called Big Sky. They're uh, no longer playing together, but they're still good friends of mine. Amazing band out of Gainesville, Florida that we met on tour. And um, so they backed me up. Cool. And played, <laughs> played all my tunes and then got in their RV and, and headed off um, uh, to play a frat party that night. They, they, they took off. So, uh, but yeah, so that, that was, it's really just luck, you know. And again, relationships, That's you know. The thing. It will, we, will, we will notice a common theme, yeah. I can guarantee in your wonderful show and our conversations of just developing relationships. It was great to hear your, your sponsors, you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan. I just, uh, at my house today, I just uh, said, oh, Katie, good, you got more tincture uh, from Aramed. So we're... Cool. Uh, relationships and timing. Yes. Is the key. Right. So we're going to hop over to the Magic Music Studio. Tell us about the song we're going to hear. Well, uh, you know it, and um, you, I think, performed with us during that show when I debuted it at the Barry Opera House. Mm. Um, and uh, years ago, my wife, Katie, she was then my girlfriend, was working in Killington, and she said, uh, I showed up one night with flowers, and she said, what are these? And I said, well, <laughs> in my eloquent days of, of a long ago, I said, I don't know. And she said, well, they're flowers for no reason. And so it took me 20 years uh, to write this song, and right. this is Flowers for No Reason for my wife, Katie O'Rourke. All right, Chad Hollister on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. Flowers for no reason don't matter the season Cause her smile it radiates so Every day I Gave her flowers for no reason the Feeling is so, so pleasing I can feel that ache in my heart from miles away Every day when I wake Heart's about to break That fiery blue-eyed ginger 
was lying right next to me she gave us two kids and this life i never dreamt it'd be so right here we are still laughing and crying in all the beauty of what's become see flowers for no reason don't matter the season Cause her smile it radiates all oh, every day Flowers for no reason The feeling is so oh, so pleasing I can feel that ache in my heart for miles Away, miles away She's weeding out in the garden I'm mowing this here lawn Ryan bowed, they're catching toads in our so-called pond See, we're all growing Not really knowing but As it curves, we seem to turn down these dirt roads towards the sun Flowers for no reason It don't matter the season Cause her smile it radiates Oh, every day Gave her flowers for no reason The feeling is so, oh, so pleasing I can feel that ache in my heart For miles away Miles away, miles away, miles away. Hey. That was Chad Hollister. Flowers for no reason right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. And so, Chad, tell us, I saw some things online last summer. Uh, you know, no gigs, obviously, but you got a little bit creative and we're doing <laughs> some, some gigs out on your, your back deck with a yeah. cookout. And tell us about that. Yeah, so we, just with the whole pandemic, uh, Primo and I, for those of you who don't know, Jeff Peremsky is our lead guitar player and one of my best friends in the world. Um, and his nickname is Primo. And um, <laughs> he and I, uh, there was just no, we were on tour in Colorado when the pandemic hit in March, right about now, uh, a couple weeks from now. Hmm. And so we canceled the tour, came home a week and a half early, and he was at home, I was at home. It was, you know, everybody was quarantining. And so we did that. And I did a lot of Facebook Live stuff. Yeah. And then once the weather became warm, um, we were, uh, I think the backyard or the gathering capacity at that point was 50. So we just started a backyard concert series. And um, we would have at most 40 people. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was a whole thing. Katie, they would come to our yard, uh, come to our house. and. And uh, Bodie would, you know, guy, bike bike them in, um, <laughs> and then uh, Katie would park them. We 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 could put about um, about ten to twelve cars in our area here, and then we could put about ten more at our neighbor's house, um, Martin and Lacey. Uh, that's it's still our shared driveway, so we would put them gotcha. in their driveway. They would park on their lawn. It was amazing, and so we it just created this thing. It was you know twenty bucks a ticket, and uh, people would bring their own drink. We we I rented a porta potty basically for the whole summer. Cool. <laughs> um, pretty much, it's incredible. Great deals. It's a uh, hard again for porta potty rentals, by the way. There it is. And um, and uh, so we um, then uh, just kept doing them. We did I think about the seven or eight. Hmm. Um, the final one numbers were real light, so I just did it solo. But um, Primo and I. Uh, it had a blast just getting to play together safely, yeah. um, and uh, so the backyard concert series was um, was a hit. We're definitely going to do it again this summer. Good. Um, and uh, and and didn't do any crazy reaching out. You know, they filled up pretty quickly. 
uh, with our, uh, our our kind of friends and family because we also yeah. wanted to know who was coming. Sure, yeah, and absolutely. know how that they had been being safe, which is a big issue right now um, yep. of still like not not getting too complacent. Yeah. Like, listen, we're we're gonna be fine. You know, hey, there's chances that you don't have it and I don't have it, so we can unmask, but. We just, uh, it's, yeah. it's not smart. So, um, right. you know, so that was a real great happening. Hmm. And uh, so another creative thing you did, I think it was a couple years ago, and maybe folks don't know about this, but you did around the country RV tour mm -hmm. with your family for six, eight months? Six months, yep, yep. <laughs> Katie, um, Katie O'Rourke is my wife, a, a local artist, um, and she has a studio in town. She's been doing incredibly through these times, which is we're really thankful for. Um, and she and our daughter Riley, who at the time was, let's see, uh, 13, and Bodie was 11, and uh, we bought an RV and we hit the road for six months. We started <laughs> beelined it at, right after Spruce Peak, the show there, which was on Feb something. Or no, that was back when it was in January. Sorry. So yeah, January, it was like January 18th. So on the, the next day, we RV'd to Albany and then beelined it down to Florida. And then came, uh, spent a good, probably a, a good month in Florida because the, the fan base there is really big. So what were you doing? You were making stops along the way. What was happening in each place? That's a great question. So we would, um, we would do, uh, I would do gigs, um, kind of backyard um, vibe <laughs> gigs. Perfect. Uh, house, house concerts, <laughs> basically. Sometimes in backyards, sometimes in people's homes. Of course, it was before the pandemic, so we could do whatever we wanted. Yeah. Um, and then um, I would also do songwriting workshops in schools. Oh. So I did, um, you know, from a Catholic school in Sarasota um, to a, uh, a grade school in, New, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, um, to uh, Steamboat Springs um, uh, songwriting workshop. So it, it, it varied, but I basically would go in and encourage the youth um, anywhere from kind of third grade up through high school, um, encourage them to write songs, and we would create a song on cool. the spot. All right. Within, you know, sometimes we just had a day, you know, a few hours. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we would have multiple days, but that was really one of the big focuses was to go into schools and, and do those workshops to help, of course, to help pay for the tour, but uh, just for the experience of, of doing that. One of my um, local heroes, uh, John Galemore, um, has been doing it here for years, and I've yeah. done it a little bit with my good, our good friend Chris Gruen. Sure. Um, and uh, we used to write the songs for the plays at Doty Memorial, where our kids used to go. Awesome. And um, so it was a wonderful way to kind of tie it all together. Katie would do some, a little bit of her art um, in different cities as well, and get get people um, painting. Um, but it was uh, it was crafty and um, a great way to get into the communities that we were visiting instead of you know we would usually stay with friends yeah in friends driveways because uh, we you know we used the motorhome as home you know it was our home so yeah. we would really even if uh they offered their home up to us we had a little dog named butch <laughs> and uh so are you sure you want butch staying with you <laughs> yes exactly and so we we uh we stayed in the motorhome and uh and it was uh, an amazing six mo six months the kids uh, despite them saying ah oh, you know, whining about it once in a while, they still bring up stories from it all the time. Oh, they'll was, remember that forever. It was incredible. So yep. cool. I strongly encourage it if you're ever able or thinking about it. So many people say, you know, I, I just day. wish I could or something, yeah. and just do it. You yeah. know, you, we, we planned for a while, sure. and we saved up for a while. Yep. And we had our good friend Blue Fox, who was in our house, house um, sitting. taking care of it. And uh, so, mm. yeah. Excellent. Yep. Another creative way of getting the music out there. <laughs> it is. It is. Hit the, right. hit the road. So we're going to jump up back over to the music studio for song number two. What can you tell us about that one? It was written many, many years ago. Uh, I put it on a, um, an album actually uh, called Long Haired Boy, which I still get uh, grief about. Um, <laughs> and the title track was World Tree. And, and the World Tree... Um, came from Mickey Hart's book uh, that I strongly encourage everybody to get that loves music and loves rhythm, and it's called Drumming at the Edge of Magic. Yeah. And it talks about the world tree, which is basically uh, signifies um, 
the other world. So uh, in the, in the, and I mean, talking to you about this, and it's so funny that that is the song that's in the key of E, uh, because it speaks so much like Pitts, you, you live and breathe through a world tree almost every day. Uh, and teach that to people. So here, this is Pitts' World Tree. Um, and uh, so uh, it, it has grown, I was just telling you how it has grown into the band. Chris Peterman wrote the horn parts, and mm. um, but now it's become a kind of a band staple and a band uh, favorite and a crowd favorite. Um, so uh, this song uh, featuring the man, the myth, the legend, Pitts Quattrone <laughs> on didgeridoo is World Tree. All right, here is Chad Hollis. They're on the music zone with Pitts Quattrone, World Tree. Just to, just to join in with me. Yeah. My shamanic journey to the world tree. Yeah, yeah, my. My name is Shamo, and I, I need a few things to get me to the world tree. And I was hoping, and I was hoping that you might help me. You know, I would need uh, some sweet vibes, chalo. Lots of positive energy. Look at the gabo bebo, scabo bebo. We's gonna be on our way, yeah. Gonna be on our way, on top of the world, on top of the world tree. Go my way to the world tree, baby. Go my way to the world tree. And I would love, I would love you all just to, just to join in with me. Better, better. Better, On my shamanic journey to the world, to the world tree. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I need this music. It's got to take me to the other worlds. Yeah. I might be a cheetah or I might be a lion. Wow. Might even be a little squirrel. Yeah, baby. To get away, escape this day. Gonna leave my own funky groove. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we's gonna be on our way. That's right. We're gonna be on our way to the wall, to the world tree. Yeah. On my way to the world tree. On my way to the world tree, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love, 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 love you all. Just join in with me, yeah, yeah. The body, 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 bow, bow. On my shamanic, our shamanic journey to the wall tree. Let's go, boy. Let's see, we're on our way. Come on, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, bam, 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 
Okay, welcome back to the studio here. Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. And uh, so, Chad, I just want to basically say, ask you uh, briefly with a little bit of time that we have, um, what's next? Are you writing some new songs? What's happening? I am. And I, you know, the honest answer is I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Um, in that, uh, the, with the focusing to TV and film, right. um, I will be crafting these songs kind of with that in mind, but also as an artist. So gotcha. there might be some TV film versions and then my own versions. Ah. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to release them as singles or as a record. I've never released an EP before which is just basically a shorter version of the record. Yeah. Um, but uh, there will be new music. Um, I'm, I'm focusing also on my YouTube channel, uh, which is uh, just Chad Hollister. You can please uh, head on and subscribe. Um, I'm doing the songs and as well as the stories behind the songs, which is kind of cool. Ooh. Um, and uh, so uh, just more music to come. And, uh, and please be ready for when live music happens again, because we're going to come out in force yeah it's uh, gonna ha it's gonna explode yeah we we are all ready to yes. present and folks are so chomping at the bit yes sir to come out and see experience live music yes. once again so true so I, it's I, it's gonna happen soon and hopefully sooner than than later yes yes so folks want to get in touch with you where do they need to go the best spot is through my website which is chadmusic.com all right, chadmusic.com. Vermont's own Chad Hollister here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. Thanking our sponsors once again, Aromed Essentials, specializing in CBD tinctures and pain-reducing topicals, essential oils and diffusers, glassworks for smoking, and a new organic Vermont-grown hemp buds bar. Check them out. Aromed Essentials, 8 State Street, downtown Montpelier, online at aromedessentials.com and by phone 802-505-1405. And remember to mention to Lauren and her staff, as well as our friends at Snapdragon Flower Farm in Danville, that you heard about them right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. That's about all the time we have today, friends. I'll be back next time with some more music right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. They break me, they move it. Rapidly, upward, they move it. I'm moving right now.